Hello, this is Aram Emmanuel Aigbe here. Today, I'm going to talk about the biggest problem in Nigeria. That is the problem of electricity. There's something I want to tell you today. I want you to sit down and listen. Because at the end of this video, your life is going to transform because you're going to know something you've not known before. Number two, at the end of this video, after your life has been transformed, you have to take action. You need to join my one million letter program and you need to write a letter to your government, to the minister of power, to the senate president, to the presidency, to your governor, because they are responsible for this. Here it goes. This truck you are looking at today is manufactured by a company called GE, General Electrics. This truck is what they call the mobile electricity uh, turbine truck. It is a truck that moves and can supply electricity by just moving to the location where electricity is needed and the smallest of this truck supplies 32 megawatt of electricity now that is huge that is huge electricity if you put 10 of these trucks together you're looking at 320 megawatts of electricity it is enough to supply 24 7 electricity 24 hours seven days a week electricity to a state like Edo state this truck is, has a gas turbine this gas turbine can generate electricity 24 7 without stopping this is the gas that we have all over Nigeria. It is all over the place. We have it in Lagos, in Edo State, uh, uh, you know, Delta State, we have it the, everywhere. This turbine machine can be delivered by General Electrics. Wait, it can be delivered by General Electrics in two months two months okay not only that these turbines after general electrics have delivered them they can be made operational within 11 okay to 12 days within 11 to 12 days this turbine will be operational in any location they are brought to in Nigeria. So the question is, how do we get the gas to these turbines? The answer is simple. You get two or three trucks that carry gas, they make the run to the gas uh, depot, wherever they are, and they go and come back. You have a big tank of gas next to this turbine, and you fill them in, you fill them to enable the turbine to keep on running 24 7. So, today we have about if, if there's electricity is booming, then we have about 3,000, 4,000 megawatts of electricity. Sometimes they tell you that the capacity fall below average, so we're having about 2,000, 2,500 megawatts. These GE machines. They are not expensive. The money that was found at the apartment in Ikoyi, 43 million, can buy a few of these machines. In fact, a lot of these machines. These machines or these turbines, GE has installed them in a lot of places. They've installed them in Egypt, in Angola, in Tanzania, in a lot of places. Countries that don't have enough money as Nigeria. Countries that have not you know, invested a lot of money in electricity like Nigeria. The question is, 
Why is Nigeria not working with GE or General Electric to make sure that we have these turbines? As I'm speaking to you today, these turbines are available at GE. And I've spoken with GE. GE have said that it can run one month from signing the contract to the commissioning, 11 days from packing first trailer to commissioning, 10 minutes, full power production in less than 10 minutes. Once they are commissioned, you put the, the, the gas in it, stay back, they press the button in 10 minutes. 35 megawatts of electricity will be produced. Okay? So now, the question is, why is Nigeria in darkness? Because electricity technology has been existing for more than 100 years. It is not new, and it's not something that has to take miracles or prayer or whatever to do. It's not that Nigeria don't have the money, because Nigeria has budgeted so much money in the production for electricity, but nobody has seen the result. Me, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. People said to me, why are you so angry? Yes, I'm angry because I'm fed up. I'm a technologist. And I travel around the world. And I see what other countries are doing. And it pains me. And I say, why is our country backward? Why is Nigerian, Nigerians like subhumans? Like they are not real humans. They are just a little bit lower than others. Because I don't understand how you can live in a country, in a world, where you have a company on the other side of the world that can provide 24-7 electricity, even 10-hour constant electricity to everyone in Nigeria, by just driving a few trucks to Nigeria and set, setting them up, and we have the gas to run these trucks, and yet our leaders are not buying this equipment, they are not installing it, you know, and everybody's behaving like they don't know what they're doing. So, that is why I have said, look, Nigerians need to wake up because this is no longer tolerable. Nigeria, Nigeria is becoming an embarrassment to the world. I was talking with a friend yesterday. He said, no, Nigeria is not becoming an embarrassment. Nigeria is an embarrassment to the world because Nigeria is has become like the madman of the world that can you can have you know when the madman is behaving people laugh at the madman and you laugh at the madman until you realize that the madman is your family member then it's no longer funny what the madman is doing that's how Nigeria is we don't support we, to be in this situation Electricity supply has a proven technology. Write to your leaders. Join me at a one million letters, you know, pro project on Facebook. Let, write to your leaders. Write to the minister of power. Write to the president. Write to the vice president. Write to the you know governors. Tell them there are machines from GE. General Electrics, that we start supplying power to Nigeria within three months. Tell them to ask me. If they don't know where GE is, I can take them to GE in the United States. I can introduce them to the CEO of GE and tell them it is not an excuse that Nigeria don't have money. GE can even arrange to finance these things. There are a lot of ways to finance equipment in the world. It's not just by paying cash. So there is no excuse. The government has no excuse for not providing 24 hours electricity. The technology is there and it's not expensive. We have the resources, God-given resources, gas, to run these turbines. That's my message today. 
after listening to this message, if you feel comfortable in the dark and you love what is going on, then don't do anything. It's fine with me. But if you love electricity, you want to have 24 7 electricity, please join me at 1 million letters on Facebook and we will pump 1 million letters to the leaders telling them that this is wrong action must be taken we want to have 24 hours electricity sorry we want to have 24 hours electricity by the end of next year it is doable enough for this procrastination enough for the talk let's get down to business and let's do it thank you very much